Okay, we need to apply the second derivative on this one. Find y double prime if we're given this. It also says we want to write our answer in terms of secant only, so let's do that. In order to find the second derivative, we have to first find the first derivative. We'll find the derivative of the first derivative. That'll give us the second derivative. So the first thing I want to find is y primed. Okay, the derivative of negative 3 secant x. I didn't do negative 3 and then multiply it by the derivative of secant x, which we talked about in an earlier video. That's secant x tangent x. And that's it. That's going to be our first derivative. Now I want to find the second derivative. I have things multiplied together, which means I'm going to have to use a product rule. So product rule, you usually only have two terms. We have three here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that the first term is f, the second one is g, and I'm going to proceed with the product rule. So if I do that, my first term is f, so the way the product rule works is you take the first term, negative 3 secant x, the derivative of the second, derivative of tangent is secant squared x, plus the second thing, which is tangent x, derivative of the first. So the derivative of negative 3 secant x, we, did, we saw that already, negative 3 secant x tangent x. Now that we have that complete, we have to do some simplifying and we'll have to put in an identity also because they don't want tangent, they want everything in terms of secant only. So let's first do a simplifying step here. This is going to become negative 3 secant cubed because you're multiplying those and you're adding exponents. This one over here, you have a minus 3 secant x and then you have tangent squared x on the end there when you multiply those. We want to do a factoring step next. So y double prime is going to be, we're going to pull out a negative 3 Negative 3 secant x is what you can pull out of that one because that's the common term that we have in each one. The first one's going to leave you with secant squared x and then you have a plus there because you're pulling out a minus plus the tangent squared x. Okay. Now there's an identity on this. An identity is if you have, uh, this is, you got to recall back to trig in order to apply this one tangent squared x equals secant squared x minus 1. That's, that's an identity that you, that you should know there. Um, and so we need to apply that identity for this one here so that way we can get rid of the tangent squared, write it all in terms of secants because that's what the instructions told us to do. We apply that and you get negative 3 secant x inside secant squared x plus secant squared x minus 1 the final answer that you're going to have is negative 3 secant x and then inside we can make that 2 secant squared x because there's like terms there and then minus 1. So this would be your, derivative, your second derivative and we see here that we have secants only in our answer.